we have a responsibility to represent um, and we represent different things. So what I represent is um, the country I was born in, the family that raised me. I represent this country. I represent regions. And so you're a representative. I mean, you're an ambassador for something. Jenny Haidt was born under communist rule in the small Bulgarian village of Rozgrad, about 40 kilometers from the Danube River and the Romanian border. And when communism fell, Jenny seized an opportunity that was to have a lasting effect on the rest of her life. Growing up in Bulgaria, I think not knowing that I was behind the Arden Curtain is probably the difference between you know, reading about it or living in it my bedroom where my sister and I have shared a bed. It, it was so small, you would walk in and you just have to sit down because there wasn't that much space for anything else. But um, it was really a good life. I applied to the very first American university in Bulgaria. Between 94 and 96, I went there for the first two years of undergraduate school and studied political science. I mean, I really wanted to continue studying languages and go be an ambassador or diplomat somewhere because that was just what I saw myself doing. I just enjoyed languages, so that was what I wanted to do. And in 96, um, as part of kind of the school, I worked as a tour guide in an office down at the American University in Bulgaria. And um, one night, I was almost closing the office. It was almost five o'clock in February, February the 29th of 96 a group of Americans came in and um, they were touring um, the Balkans and had stopped in the city, saw the American flag on top of the university and sort of walked in and said, well, can we get a tour? <laughs> I said, well, sure, you can get a tour, come on. So we um, kind of walked through, went to the souvenir shop and uh, one of those couples was um, John and Mary Ann Hughes. This cute little old girl uh, with jet black hair just came up and introduced herself and uh, said she was going to be our guide. And she almost ignored the others in the group and just clung to us. They were just so loving in, in, in how approachable they were and how open and wanted to invite me to come over immediately and visit them. And I said, are you you're crazy? There's no way I can visit. That's, you know, 8,000 kilometers or 5,000 miles away. Um, I. There's no way I could visit that far. And we invited her to come. And then uh, we started um, uh, looking for a scholarship for her. And we both went to Jacksonville State. And we walked over to the International House, and a girl came down, gave us an application, and Jenny filled it out, sent it in, and she got the scholarship and graduated magnum cum laude. There were six that had the honor of magnum cum laude. And uh, they stood up real stoically, you know. And when Jenny stood up, she threw her arms up and did a 360, waving at everybody. Jenny received an undergraduate degree from Jacksonville State and later an MBA from the University of Alabama at Huntsville, the same year she married her fiancé, Brian. I got married um, in 2001, and I was fortunate to get a job in the insurance industry. And so about a year into it, I met a bank employee that um, worked at MSouth Bank and um, it was one of, I guess, another significant day because banking, we have that unique opportunity to meet people from the blue collar roofer or someone who's in construction to someone who is a CEO. And what you find is regardless of um, what a person did or how big their family is or where they came from, they all had similar needs. The economic stance of a certain individual has no, no precedence with her. It's the human being that, that she addresses. And it's just amazing to see people's faces. And I don't, I don't know if she notices it, but I, I would sit back and watch and just to see the, the gratitude that people would show. When I first moved here, I needed to get my business account set up somewhere. And I talked to the former agent was here, and he said, you need to go meet Jenny over here. We sat down, had a good conversation. It just, uh, Jenny's ability to connect with people when she first meets you, and I mean, just completely, everything else in the world is external. She's focused on you and what's going on with you, and uh, so I immediately liked her. Jenny also plays an active role in the Huntsville international community. America is unique in, in the fact that we do represent the tapestry of just a variety of um, cultures who came here. And 
friend of mine from the university that um, went to grad school with me. She's from Romania, Elena. And so Elena said, you know, you really need to join the board of the International Society. We do a lot of things that promote culture, things that you would enjoy. I just moved from Atlanta and I said that, uh, you know, I like to do a lot of stuff with the international community and I, I'm trying to find out for some stuff in the groups and she's amazing. You, you mentioned that. Uh, I'm on the board of directors for the International Society of Huntsville and so she got me linked in with that and um, I think all of us, uh, we try to live the best possible life we can. We try to be good and do right and I think uh, at times in our life we come across people who make us realize that we could do better and we can actually do a little more if we try a little harder. And, and Jenny is that type of person. Uh, and so, uh, next thing I know, a few months later, I'm on the board of directors, and uh, she and I are doing a lot of work together with the community. But she's not just a great partner to the International Society. Jenny also lends her talents to her alma mater's alumni association. We have a lot of volunteer opportunities on campus, and one of which is mentoring. So we have um, a lot of our alumni who have been out in the career, in their careers for a while, who come back and mentor students who are on the cusp of either graduating. And she has actually been the first of um, our board members to come to me and volunteer for that. So I actually like to sit next to Jenny in board meetings because she knows how to have fun too. So we, we pay attention. <laughs> we do pay attention. <laughs> An invaluable asset to the region's team, an effective partner to her alma mater, and a respected pillar of the international community, Jenny Height has achieved great things in her adopted country and always serves as a model ambassador for her homeland. I, you know, I don't really think that what we own defines us by any means because, I mean, we, I guess, you know, I mean, I remember coming in with a suitcase and I don't think I was necessarily worth more or less at that time than I'm today. It's just, you know, I, you know, I mean, I, I guess you have to, um, I don't know what is the right definition of humility, I guess, is not thinking um, less of yourself, it's just thinking about yourself less. But it's just, I think, you know, a lot of times we just have to look at people and say, what is it that this person's, you know, what is their passion about? What is it that they really um, want to convey? What is their life story? And, and sometimes in banking we have the opportunity to hear all of that. And so putting that um, together sometimes helps people and so I do find that it does make life better for me and I certainly hope it makes it better for others. <laughs>